the Ethereum dev team have finally made some really big decisions that are going to have a huge impact on Ethereum as a whole and a massive impact on anyone who mines Ethereum and really the entire GPU mining ecosystem. So I know the biggest question you have right now, Bosk, where are you and where's Tails? Well, I'm out here at CNU, Christopher Newport University. I'm in a tank top because it's super hot. And you know, I went to CNU for a year, fun fact, and the game's tonight. So we decided to come down here and check it out. But more importantly, you probably game came here for the Ethereum news. If you check out the latest Ethereum dev live stream, then you'll know that they finally came to some conclusions that are going to have a massive impact on Ethereum and mining slash every miner who has who uses graphics cards. So to give you a baseline, the current mining profitability on Ethereum is if you have 200 mega hash a second, which would be the equivalent of about four 1080 Ti's using the F enlargement pill, or a little bit above average for the basic Ant Miner E3, the most popular Ethereum ASIC miner that has now come to market and been distributed. Your revenue would be four dollars and thirty-seven cents per day, and if you pay ten and a half cents per kilowatt hour like I do, which is a pretty standard electric rate, then after you pay your electric bill, you're only gonna be bringing home $1.95 for that whole mining rate, which will cost you between $1,000 to like $2,500 or more. If you factor in some basic math, you realize that I'm paying $2.42 per day to run these mining rigs, whether we're talking about an Ant Miner E3 or four 1080 Ti's using that enlargement pill. One of the critical decisions that came out of the last Ethereum live stream dev meeting was the fact that they decided to reduce the block reward, block reward of ethereum from three ethereum per block to two ethereum per block and so this calculation isn't going to this is going to completely exclude any potential changes to how uncles are handle, handled in ethereum mining speak now or forever hold your peace i believe this is us making the decision to reduce issu issuance to two to do another hard fork eight months after Constantinople. This is going to allow for some pretty simple math. All we're going to have to do is reduce our earnings by the same reduction that's taking place in the black reward, which is three to two. So that's 33%. It's going to reduce our earnings in that same fashion. But guess what it's not going to reduce? It's not going to reduce your power cost. So now with those same mining rigs, you're going to earn about $2.91 USD per day. But guess what? After you pay your electric bill, you're only going to be bringing home 49 cents. It's pretty dramatic. This is a pretty big deal, guys. This is a massive reduction in ethereum mining rewards and what's more important above all is people say oh well, that's just ethereum i'm just going to go mine ethereum classic then because they're not doing that well that may be true but ethereum is responsible for a massively insane large piece of the mining hash power across the world so if you take a third of that and, and reduce the profitability every single Everything, every single coin, cryptocurrency that is mined by GPUs is going to be reduced significantly. And we're gonna see this, uh, we're gonna see this effect ripple through every piece of mining revenue. It's not good. Take a deep breath. This hard fork is planned for October. Looks like the end of October, which knowing Ethereum could very well end up in. Oh, yeah. My camera. I'm shooting a video, man. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, it's all right. No, we didn't ruin anything. No, you did. I'm just, <laughs> just messing with you. All right, so take a deep breath. This hard fork is not planned for tomorrow, next week. It's scheduled for October, the end of October. So knowing the Ethereum devs, this could end up as a early November hard fork. So we got a little bit of time. However, these changes as of the last dev meeting are pretty much guaranteed. And if you're wondering about the issue of ASIC resistance, which if you look back, Ethereum toted being ASIC resistance, and there's a lot of debate going on now. What is ASIC resistant? What does it mean to be ASIC resistant? It does, is ASIC resistance an ongoing thing? Does that mean you will continue to fight ASICs like the Monero team has done? which is pretty impressive with their consistent uh, hard forks that, to make adjustments to their algorithm to invalidate the ASIC miners that were developed for their algorithm, which was originally just the basic kryptonite. That's one view. And then there's also the view of ASIC resistance is that you're going to be ASIC resistant, I guess, until an ASIC miner is developed that works on your algorithm. And you're gonna be like, well, we wanna put our dev focus on other things and not changing the proof of work algorithm. Changing the Ethereum proof of work algorithm actually came up in a pretty pretty big way in the last live stream. And, was, and the miners um, also said ProgPow was one of the conditions, not the, like 
absolute condition, but they were saying that is more important to them than the issuance reduction. And if there is an issuance reduction, we want a real conversation about uh, ASIC resistant POW algorithms. So, so my, my difficulty in actually having an opinion on prog POW is that I am not an expert enough in the topic to have an opinion on it. So frankly, I need somebody who is a trusted expert in this to actually make that call. I'm happy to implement if it's what we choose. Um, I'm not excited about spending dev time on a new proof of work algorithm, but that doesn't mean that I won't get on board if there's consensus that it's that it's the right thing for us to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, so I kind of like I'm not excited about it as well. So I, I would prefer not to do that. Frog POW developed by Ogata Girl slash Ogata Company slash Minority is certainly being evaluated as an option. They're also going to explore other options, but here's the deal: <laughs> this wouldn't be implemented until June. Yeah, next June. June 2019. And I've made it crystal clear to the miners who have, who are communicating with me that it would be at least June before this is implemented. So they're not going to be caught off guard, at least the ones I've talked to, including the Prog POW team. And at that point, they've already pushed their proof of stake uh, potential change to the end of 2019, 2020. And at that point, I doubt that they would bother implementing a proof of work change if they are already that close to their new uh, again, pushed back again, proof of stake date. So just some things to keep in mind. As we've recently learned, don't hold your breath waiting for a project to make a decision you imagine will happen slash is the right one. Like we just experienced with Zencash and their whole mining algorithm debacle. I, last thing I would do would ever be to hold on to hardware thinking that it's gonna become profitable because of a decision that's going to take place in next June, maybe by a dev team that expresses that they are not interested in doing this. So I, I would prefer not to do that. But they, in their defense, they have said that if you know that is the decision made that they will obviously do it but they are not interested in doing this because they understand that their focus is moving to a proof of stake algorithm or setup, which it completely invalidates proof of work slash mining. Ultimately, if you're wondering what I think, I've basically already said it in the video, but with a team that is so focused on moving to proof of stake, I can't imagine that they would waste their resources. That's how they were viewed in their eyes, working on a change to the proof of work algorithm slash mechanism when they will be closer and closer to moving to proof of stake. I could very well imagine that they would explore this to sort of appease the community to say, hey, we looked into it, but it's just not feasible. Or maybe, you know, we're getting so close and close to proof of stake that it just doesn't make sense to go ahead and do that. The good news is just that they are delaying the difficulty bomb officially per their last live stream for a year. And to push the difficulty bomb to 12 months after Constantinople. And that is going to be good news because the difficulty bomb, uh, in, in lame, a very basic description, continually increases and inflates the difficulty. And by delaying the difficulty bomb, that is going to stop this artificial uh, inflation of the difficulty. And if you are a miner, you know that increased difficulty means decreased rewards. And thus, that will help earnings slightly. But with the block reward reduced from three to two, I don't imagine that it's really gonna be too much food to eat on the table. So there you have it guys, that's my update and analysis of the recent live stream and the update on the decisions that the Ethereum development team has made. This is Vosk of Voscoin reporting to you live, signing out from Christopher Newport University, Newport News, Virginia. And I'm trying to sound like I'm on a newscast, but you guys obviously know I'm not. So hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about everything that went down today in this video or you know all this news that has recently transpired and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh my god, are you Miss Boss? Oh my god, I'm your biggest fan. I saw your Z9 Mini review. Yeah, eight week update on my Ant Miner Z9 Mini, uh, which I named Fortune Cookie. Wow. <laughs> did you ROI or did you lie and just say you made your Zen Cash back? Shit comes down here. you.